By the end of this video, we're going to add falling platforms to our game, which will fall after a set wait timer and then be destroyed. Very cool, let's go. So in our series, we're using the Kenny game tile map. And like I did for our moving platform, I took some sprites from this tile map and made it into an individual image. I dragged this into my Unity project and set the pixel per unit to be 16, filter mode to be point no filter and compression to be none and clicked apply. And if you want to use this as well, you can grab it for free on my Patreon, which I'll link below. But anyway, first of all, let's right click in the hierarchy and go 2D object sprite square and call this falling platform. I drag in my platform sprite and I'm going to click add component and add a box collider 2D and add component again and add a platform effector 2D. If you click use by effector in your box collider 2D, this will now make it so your player can jump from the bottom up and land on our platform. If you want to also be able to jump down and you followed in a previous video how to do this, remember to select the tag platform in this drop down at the top and for our ground check if you've done this series as well, remember to select ground on our layer drop down. Cool, now on our box collider 2D I'm going to edit the collider and wrap it around the very top of our platform in a tiny little rectangle. So when we collide with here, the platform's going to start falling. Because we want our platform to fall, it means that our platform needs to have gravity. So let's add a component and add a rigid body 2D. Since we don't want our platform to fall from the very beginning, what we're going to do is set its body type to be static. This means it will stay where it is. When we want this then to fall in code, we're going to set it back to dynamic, which will make it fall down. Speaking of code, let's add component and click new script and call it falling platform. We'll double click on the script to open up and in here we'll add a public float fall weight and I'll set this to a default of two. So this is going to be when our player jumps on the platform, going to stop and wait for two seconds and then start falling. And we'll want another public float and we'll call it destroy weight. And I'm going to set this to 1f so that after one second and after falling our platform is destroyed. Now let's add a ball called is falling and a rigid body 2d for our rigid body 2d which we'll call rb. In our start let's set our rigid body 2d by calling get component and passing in rigid body 2D. And then we won't need this update method, but we will want an on collision enter 2D where we're going to say if we're not currently falling and our collision dot game object dot compare tag is player and then we'll pass in player so is our player colliding with our platform then we're going to call a coroutine and i'm going to call this fall. So let's write this fall. Down here we'll go private i enumerator fall and we'll say is falling equals true. Then we're going to yield return new wait for seconds and pass in our full wait. So we've jumped on our platform, we said yes we're falling so this doesn't get called again and now we're going to wait for two seconds. After we've finished waiting we're going to set our rigid bodies body type to equal rigid body type 2d dynamic so our platform will start falling. Then we want to call destroy, we'll pass in our game object so that's our platform and then pass in the time to wait which is destroy wait. So after one second our platform will be destroyed. So it's not just falling forever. And guess what? That's it. So let's go back to Unity and I'll move this platform somewhere that's not gonna crush our person. Now, when we jump on top of our platform, we wait and it falls. Oh, we didn't freeze it with Z rotation, so it looked a little weird. So if we go back, click on falling platform and on our rigid body, if you click on dynamic, we can change the constraints here and they'll save for when it switches back between static and dynamic. So I'm going to click under constraints, freeze Z rotation, and then I'll set this back to static again. Press play. And cool. Now when we jump on our platform, we'll wait two seconds and it falls down nice and smooth. Cool. And that's it. Very cool. Now you can uh, try and avoid the falling platforms. Very exciting. You can up the fall time so it falls a little faster once you've stepped on it. If you go to all your platforms and set the full weight to be something shorter like 0.5 and if we test it again, uh, you can see they fall after half a second which makes it a little more challenging. But that's it. In the next video we're going to be looking at spike traps and bounce traps. Our spike traps would damage our player and our bounce traps will give us a boost into the air. Very exciting, see you in the next one. Have a lovely day or night or evening or whatever. Bye bye!